Okay, we just got the signal from the divers that there's hammerhead sharks in the water. So I'm gonna get all geared up, hop in, and hopefully get face to face with these sharks. We all have a bucket list, that list of things we've wanted to do our entire lives. Most of the time, it's something you've dreamed about since you were a child. And for me, that dream has always been one thing, to dive with the biggest and baddest sharks in the ocean. Since I was a little kid, I've been utterly fascinated with the ocean and everything that calls it home. From going to my local aquarium to diving in the open ocean with sharks, every experience I have leaves me with that same sense of amazement. Since becoming a diver, I've had some pretty crazy underwater experiences, like my first ever shark dive, or diving inside an underwater volcano in Hawaii, or even getting face to face with sharks in Florida. I've spent my whole life building up to dive with the biggest sharks in the ocean, and it's that dream that brought me down to the Bahamas in search for the most recognizable shark species, the Great Hammerhead. Now there are very few spots around the globe where you can encounter hammerheads regularly. To see these sharks in person, I had to fly to the very small island of Bimini, which is located just 50 miles off the coast of Florida, and it's the gateway to the shark capital of the world, the Bahamas. My journey began after leaving my hometown and eventually arriving in Nassau later that day, where I then connected to fly with a small airline called Western Air. Believe it or not, I had never flown in a plane this small before. That's our plane. And the short 20 minute ride to Bimini was incredible. And it felt really good too. After hopping on three different flights, I had finally made it to the island of North Bimini. And this is where the excitement really started to set in. Now all that was left to do was wait for the sun to set and get ready to go diving the next day. What's going on guys? Well, today is the big day. We have finally made it because I'm going diving with great hammerhead sharks. Now the weather and the conditions today are near perfect. We have a high of around 80, clear skies with very little wind, which is just about as much as you can ask for. Now as you guys know, I've been waiting for this day for a very long time and we're getting close to the time of departure. So I'm gonna go get all my gear ready and load onto the boat. Getting to the hammerhead grounds only took a 10 minute boat ride from the dive shop. But this isn't like any other shark dive where you already have your target species waiting for you. Instead, we had to wait for the sharks to come to us. This process could take anywhere from five minutes to multiple hours. So all I could do is get my gear ready and wait for the signal. After only 10 minutes, we already had hammerheads circling the boat. So I rushed over, got all geared up, and hopped into the water. I did manage to be the first person in, and after the bubbles cleared, I could see her. A 12-foot great hammerhead shark off in the distance. But before I could press record, she was gone. I made my way to the sand bottom where I had to wait for a few minutes. I was surrounded by nurse sharks but couldn't see any more hammerheads. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, I could see the unmistakable shape of the great hammerhead. I was in complete awe. Here I was, just a couple of feet away from one of the biggest sharks on the planet. But before I could even fathom what was happening, we had a second hammerhead show up. Before I knew it, there were three different hammerheads surrounding me, all of them being female and each as cool as the last. With each pass, the sharks kept getting closer and closer to me, and before I knew it, I was going face to face with them.
Most of you are probably wondering, why in the world do hammerheads look like that? The story is actually pretty fascinating. Sharks have been on Earth for over 400 million years, but hammerheads are the most recently added and evolved shark, with their ancestors first appearing around 20 million years ago. Now that is part of the reason hammerheads are more newly evolved than other sharks, which is going to result in them looking a little differently and having more of an advantage over some sharks. But still, what is the hammer's purpose? The head of a hammerhead is called a cephalofoil, and many experts believe it's to help with their sixth sense, the ampullae of Lorenzini. Sharks can detect the electrical impulses that most living things give off, and the cephalofoil allows for the hammerhead to cover more area. These sharks like to prey on stingrays hiding in the sand, and this wider head helps them find their prey more efficiently. However, it also helps give these sharks almost 360 degrees of vision, along with better and quicker movements. Now, all of these things were running through my head while looking at these sharks. I was trying to study their movements and how they behave, because it's so fascinating to watch. This girl right here named Gaia went in for some chum, and on her way out headed right towards me. She got so close her pectoral fin even bumped my hand. I simply couldn't believe that I actually got touched by a hammerhead, but there wasn't much time to think because the other two sharks were also present. Eventually, my camera battery was running low, so I had to head back up to the boat to replace it. The dive was only in about 20 feet of water, so air was never really an issue, but I did strap on my second tank and eventually jumped back in. Once I got settled back on the sand bottom, this is where the action really started to pick up. There were hammerheads everywhere, and each of them kept getting within just a couple of feet of me and my camera. This shot right here shows two hammerheads swimming right next to each other. This is one of my favorite shots out of the whole trip because it's pretty rare to be able to find two great hammerheads right next to each other. However, I knew I was getting close to the end of the dive, so I tried to film as much as I could and I ended up capturing some incredible shots. But eventually, the time was up. The chum box was empty and I got the signal to head up to the surface. As you can tell, I really didn't want to leave, but knowing that I got to spend around two straight hours in the water with these sharks left me with nothing but joy. I got up to the boat, put away my gear, and started the short ride back to the dive shop. During this short period, I was trying to reflect on what I just witnessed. I've wanted to dive with hammerheads since I was eight years old, and that dream was completed today. For such large animals, hammerheads are so graceful to watch. Now, I've always known that sharks are cool, but hammerheads took that knowledge to a whole new level, and they proved to be one of, if not the best thing to see in the ocean.